Okay, sixth grade. So like I said, we are going to continue your uh, adventure in composing and we're going to be adding two more notes. So let me go ahead and share my screen so we can go to the website and I can show you how we're going to be composing these two new notes into our music. Okay, so we are back at the classicsforkids.com website and I'm going to go back into the one that says compose your own music. Okay, so as always, we get to pick our notes to create. So give me just a second. This is saying it wants an old screen. Let me try to make it a little bigger here, see if that way. Okay, give me just a second to fix this. Okay, we are good to go. All right, so first things first. As last time, we choose a note, but you know what? We're gonna go ahead and go into the advanced like that. Okay, yes, switch to advanced. There we go. That gives us more rhythm options. All right, so let's choose our first note. I'm thinking let's start simple. Let's just go with a talk, okay? All right, now I said this time that we are going to use the G, A, and B that you used last time, but we're also going to add this E here and that D down there. Okay, so what do you think we should start with? Do you want to start with one of the new notes? I'm thinking let's start with one of the new notes. So I'm going to click on this D right here. Okay, now something you need to notice about that D. You'll notice that this particular D is actually sitting below the staff. He's not on the top, the bottom line. He's not way down. He's hanging off that bottom line, okay? So when we come over here to draw it on our music, this is what it would look like, okay? So, oh, first things first though, I have to prep my line. Now notice I'm using the same paper as last time. You can totally do that as well if you'd like. Um, so we need to prep our paper by making sure we have our five lines and four spaces. We have our treble clef and we have our time signature, which is this four, four right here. And again, if you want to do your own, you would come back here, draw your five lines with four spaces, draw your treble clef and your four, four. If, or if you want to use the same piece of manuscript paper that you used last time, that's fine. You want to print out a new one. That link is also available in this week's folder on Schoology. It's also in the description below this video on YouTube, okay? All right, so we picked our D. I've got our treble clef, we've got our four four. So now what we're gonna do is draw in our D, which means I have to come below the staff and stick a line on it like that, okay? Bam, it's that simple. That's where the D goes. All right, so now let's pick a second note. I'm thinking we keep it simple still. So I'm gonna go with this two right here. And now the question remains, do we use G-A-B, another D, or do we use the other new note, E? I can see you saying E, so we're gonna go with E. Okay, so now if you notice this particular E over here, it actually steps up on the line, okay? So that means I gotta come up from this D, to that line note, and I'm actually, let me see if I can zoom in a little bit on what I'm doing here so you can see this a little better. Okay, yeah, there we go. All right, so you see the D here. I step up to the line, but I'm gonna make sure that my circle is not shaded in. Now, I would really like you to use a pencil and not a pen. I'm using a pen so that you can uh, see my stuff a little better. All right, so that means we got one more beat that we can put in for this first measure of our song. I'm thinking again, let's keep it simple and go with a ta. Maybe in the next measure we'll do some of the other stuff. But let's go with a ta. Now remember, once we choose the note, it's gonna disappear really fast. Okay, so let's pick our ta. Okay, now we used a D. We used an E, we can use either one of those again if we choose, or we can come up to the G, the A, or the B. What do you think? 
if you said G, I'm kind of thinking the same thing as you. I kind of want my melody to uh, make its way up. So I'm going to click the G, look at it very quickly, and then watch it disappear. Okay, again, that's the only thing that annoys me about this program is that the line disappears. So, but I did notice that my G is on the one, two, second line from the bottom. So I'm going to shade it in. I'm going to make sure to leave a little space here between that two woo and that ta because if I wanted to stick another note in there, I could. So that's why I leave the space. But yeah, I'm not going to. Okay, so now I've got my notes. D, E, G. Okay, so now I'm going to draw a line because i got to have that bar line every four notes or beats. I'm sorry, every four beats. You have to have a bar line because of that time signature right there. All right, so we get a whole new measure to compose. Hmm. What do y'all think? Do y'all want to rest? Do y'all want some eighth notes? Hmm. Okay, you know what? Let's do, let's do a rest. So I'm going to choose this one beat rest here. It's going to drop it down. But then I'm going to come over here. And remember, you can either draw a Z or you can draw your fancy rest symbol if you want. I'm going to draw the rest symbol. So I'm going to go boom, boom, boom with a curve. Boom. I've got my, my rest symbol there. Okay. All right. So I've got my first beat here that's going to be a beat of rest. Um, let me listen to what we got so far. Okay. All right, I'm thinking that we need some eighth notes. So let's do some TTs in there. All right. Uh, I like the beat. I'm going to go with the beat. Okay, so I'm going to come up here. I'm going to draw my B. But you know what I'm going to do? I'm just going to put a line on it, make it look like a quarter note. Hold up for a second. Let's pick our next note. Do you want to do the same note again, or do you want to do a different note? Yeah, we can do a different note. So let's go with this one. And what do y'all think? I think G. Let's make it interesting. Let's go with the G. Okay, let's listen to what we got so far. Okay, so let's come down here, draw our G, draw a stem, and then oh, 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 oh you got to connect them or it's not a TT. Now, did you notice when they're the same note two times, we just simply drew a line like that. But when you have two different notes, you want to angle that line. That's just to make your music neater, okay? That's all that is, is just to make your music look a little neater. All right, so we still have two beats left, okay? Two beats remaining. So what do y'all think? I'm thinking... Ooh, since we didn't do this in our last one until after we were done, I'm thinking we can use that one with the dot right here. What do y'all think? Yeah? Okay, cool. I'm with you too. So we're going to use that Tay that's got the dot. I'm going to stick a B on it. Okay, let me move my, my video out of the way so you can see that. All right, so I know it's really, it doesn't look like it's really on the line in the video here, but we're going to bring this up. So one, two, three, third line is B, draw my circle, color it in, stick my line on it, and stick my dot on it. Okay, so now I have that. All right, I'm going to listen to my song. I like to listen as I go. Oh, it's, I'm almost hearing Amazing Grace a little bit in there. Listen to it. It's kind of coming off a little amazing grace, okay? Uh, all right, just, just by accident, just by accident. Now, according to this, we only have a half a beat that we can do, and that's it, because we've used up one, two, three and a half, because remember, this one with the dot here and it's shaded in is worth a half a beat. So that means I can use this half a beat of T, or I can do a half a beat of rest, but I'm thinking half a beat of T. So let's pick that, and I'm going to go with A, because we haven't done an A yet. 
So we're gonna come here, I know it disappeared on us, but that's okay. So we're gonna stick our A in the one, two second space and boom. Now, because I don't have another T to connect it to like I did on this guy, I have to put the flag on him, okay? So basically I start at the top and then just make a little arch coming off of him and that's my T right there. So now I'm gonna draw a line because I have four beats now. One, two, three and a half, plus another half gives me four. So there's my four beats according to my time signature. So I have to make sure I, bam, put my line in there, okay? All right, two more measures. So what are y'all thinking? Should we make this interesting? Maybe do another set of TTs just to make it interesting? All right, let's listen to what our song sounds like and then see maybe what we feel like it should do. I'm thinking TT, yeah. I'm really feeling like that melody should keep going. So let's pick that there. And then, ooh, what do you think? Should we do, let's jump down to D. Let's bring this melody all the way back down to D. Okay, so that's another one that's below the staff. I have to come in below the staff, color my circle in. And because I'm gonna put another T on this, I have to wait to draw my line. So I'm gonna pick another T. I'm thinking E. All right, so now that I have my E, I come up to the line because bottom line is E, boom, boom, I've got my DE. All right, let me hear what that sounds like. Da -da -da. I like that. All right, um, let's see, what do y'all think? We've got three beats left that we can do in this measure. We've got lots of choices. We can do a ta, we can do another set of TTs if we want. Um, we can just end the whole measure and stick this three in there. We can stick a rest. It's, it's really, <clears throat> sky's the limit on this. So what do y'all think? I think we should do a three. We haven't done a three yet. So let's go with a three. And I'm thinking G. Okay, so let's go to G here. Put this right behind, don't shade it in. Put a dot on it. And because that's, guess what? That's four beats right there. One, two, three, four. Another clue is if you're using this classics for kids um, dot com page and you're going to the compose your own song, whenever the thing da -da 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 goes away, that also means that you have hit your four beats, okay? So now I've got three measures. Oh, you know what we forgot to do? We forgot to number our measures. So above beat one here, I'm gonna put a one. Above beat one here, I'm gonna put a two. And above beat one here, I'm gonna put a three. Bam, I've got three measures. I need one more, okay? Let's listen to our song and let the melody tell us where it needs to go. Here we go. I'm hearing in my head, da da. So I'll say that again. Da, da. I'm really feeling that da da right there at the end. I don't know what what is about this melody that is making me feel that right there, but I'm, I'm really feeling like that's what it should sound like. So I'm gonna go with this ta right here, and I'm gonna stick a B on it. Okay, so let's put our B here. Stick a line on it like that, awesome sauce. And then, da -da. I'm really feeling maybe an A, let's see. Oh, you know what, I don't want that. I'm gonna go back to this three. I wanna do another three to end my song out. Yeah, that felt, that felt a little better. Okay, 
Okay, let me listen to that one more time. If it'll let me. It's not gonna let us. Me. Well, maybe if I exit out and hit play. Let's try that. And that's why I say I want you to use a pencil because in all honesty, I feel like I could change that ending even a little bit more to make it, I don't know, it's just to make it feel more complete, but I have a pen, so it's kind of hard for me to do that. But since I've got my four beats, I'm gonna go ahead and draw my line in here. Okay, all right, and that is measure four. Boom, we gotta put our measure numbers in there. So there's the melody that we just created. There it is right there. Let me zoom out just a little bit so you can see it. There we go, now we can see it. All right, let's do an autofocus on there. There we go. Okay, so you can see our melody that we created here using G, A, B, and adding the additional D, and the E. So what we're going to do, and we're just going to keep adding notes. Um, I think now, since we've added the D and the E, I think we should now go up and add the upper D and then come down and add that space C. So if you had me last year in fifth grade and you did your recorders, we did when the saints go marching in, that was that one where we lifted our finger on our left hand. Remember, you're never supposed to do that until we got to that C. So I'm thinking we should add the upper D and the upper C to really expand this from the D to the D in our music, okay? All right, so we're going to continue that discussion next time. Um, I would love for you to show me your compositions that you come up with on your own. Uh, you can send them to me at the email address that's scrolling across the bottom of the screen now. Um, and I, I, I can't wait to see them. But until then, what I need you to do is I need you to go take your quiz as always. So make sure that you're looking in the description below this video on YouTube to find the link for not only your manuscript paper, but also for your quiz. You can also go back to Schoology and look and see that the quiz is embedded below the video and the manuscript paper link in this week's folder on Schoology. It's also linked it uh, next to the video link on my website for this week's uh, little site on my webpage over there. So no matter how you get to the quiz, please make sure that you do that and stick your name on it so you can get credit for keeping up with your music lessons, okay? All right, I'll see you later. Bye, you guys.